again, Ben. I'm here a little earlier than I expected because my LTB came earlier than I thought it would. It usually takes a couple days more than, uh, or a few days longer than the MTB to come, but this time uh, I think the uh, MTB came on Friday and it's Sunday, so um, who knew something would be delivered on Sunday. I guess the post office works seven days a week now, but uh, here's my uh, LTB. And uh, let's get to it. Let's get the glasses on. First thing we got is what's in the box. Now, I have a little confession. Yes, I've opened this box and gone through it. I'm sure everybody else does it too, but I'm not faking it. <laughs> um, I like to put them in the order that I'm going to be taking them out so I don't waste your time by looking through the box for what's coming. So... Um, if it looks like the box has been opened, it's because it was. Okay, so move the wrapper. And the first item on the card is from Monster Bass. Retails for $11.99. It's called the Hammerhead Crankbait. And this is like a, uh, it's a square ball crankbait, two and a half inches, five eighths of an ounce. Uh, the card says, this time of year, bass will be scattered, so you've got to have a bait that you can cover a lot of water and trigger fish into biting. Throw this bait anywhere from one to four feet of water or over grass. That's at least three feet below the surface, so you're just ticking the top of the grass. So that sounds, this sounds like it could, it could work pretty good in a lot of the lakes I fish in. Most of the lakes I fish in, they're no deeper than six or seven feet. Um, the reservoir is one exception. Um, Assin Pink is up to 15 feet. Uh, Rising Sun, I think that one goes to 10 to 12, but uh, most of that lake is is eight feet or less. So this will probably this will work in most of the lakes that um, that I fish. Now I said I, I in my goals video I want to fish more lakes. So that means I want to fish some more real lakes, some deeper lakes, some bigger lakes. Round Valley comes to mind, Union Lake, Mercer Lake, those lakes come to mind. Uh, but we'll see. On the back it says a unique combination of shape, sound, and movement are unlike anything fish have ever seen before, and that's why you're going to catch monster bass using it. So I'll probably bring this to North Carolina with me. Because uh, this, is, this is perfect uh, for that lake too. So we'll try it out down there. I'm going to take it out of the box. Try not to hook myself. It looks like your average square bill fat crankbait, and I got a hook in my hand. It's got some rattle to it. Let's try it without the hooks. And it's got some nice colors in it, though. It's got some real uh, natural colors. It's, it's kind of like a, a bluish on top. And, uh,. Uh, lime green on the side with a yellow stripe and, uh, and the black shad spot. Let's see uh, if they have a name for this. It's called Chartreuse Sexy Shad. So there you have it. From uh, from Monster Bass. It's the Hammerhead Crankbait and it's Chartreuse Sexy sexy Shad. We'll be bringing that with us. That's one down. Next is a surprise item. Uh, it says their shipment of hooks got lost at sea, and they're not joking. So instead of the hooks, they sent this next item, which is not on the card, so I'm going to have to read it. It looks like a nice bait. It's from Dynamic Lures. It's called the HD XXL, and it is a uh, silver black it's, is the color. It's uh, It looks like a jerk bait. Uh, size is four and three quarters. It's five seven seven ounce, and the, and the dive depth is one to four in feet. So that, this will be good also in most of the lakes that I fish in. So maybe uh, LTB has been paying attention. I'm not saying that MTB hasn't, but uh, this is this this could be perfect uh, as the weather warms up in some of the lakes uh, by me. So I'll take this out of the package too. Give you a better look at it. Now it comes with a little container. I have not seen this. Not that I'm a uh, jerk bait expert. But this comes with a little bottle of extra beads. 
I don't know, case the beads that are in it fall out. I don't know. Uh, it's got a little porthole in the top to put a with a little tab so you can open it. Well, let me try that. It's a little uh, soft plastic, uh, like a port. No, I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to break it. But it comes out. I don't think there's any beads in it. Yeah, it sounds like there might be a couple. So you can uh, adjust the depth it sinks and how much it rattles by putting uh, more of your own beads in it. Uh, that's, that's something new. But, uh, but like it's silver and black, so there's the, like it says on the card, silver and black. There's the back. The back is black. The sides are, sh are silver, and they have kind of a shine to them that uh, has like a rainbow of colors to it. So uh, there you have it. The uh, Dynamic Lures HD XXL Jerkbait. Of course, I don't have a price on it because <laughs> they... I guess they threw something else in the uh, in each different in each box, whatever they had. So, so I don't know what the, what it retails at. I can look it up and put it up. Uh, next one, next one. Hopefully one day these will become my new favorite bait. This is from Lucky Strike. If you remember the the Walmart unbagging, the worms I got, the Lucky Strike worms are the ones I said uh, smelled like gasoline. Uh, I haven't gotten to use them yet, but I'm bringing them to North Carolina with me, so I'm going to try them down there. This says bass assortment on it, but it is a. It's called twirl. It says twirl, twirl tail worms, but they don't look like they have a twirl tail. These look, look more like night calls with a. Uh, now I'm taking one out. I wouldn't say these have a gasoline smell. These have the same smell as when my brother and I were kids. We had this uh, kit that my parents bought us for Christmas one year. I don't know. We were probably nine, ten years old, and you could make your own little like squiggly bugs or snakes or whatever you just poured the color into the mold and then you heated it up and I love that smell <laughs> that's what this reminds me of it doesn't smell like the other ones so this is this is actually pretty good it's got like a reddish tint with some deep flakes in it and the whole thing is uh, ribbed and uh, it's red on the inside so it has like a little, it looks like a rattlesnake tail. So I would not call this a twirl tail. I don't know, maybe they just put this in a generic package and uh, they didn't, they didn't uh, care, you know, what was in it. But I'll definitely try these. And they look like they're about four inches. So you could probably uh, wacky rig these or, or Texas rig them. So I might even try them on a drop shot. So there you go. Lucky strike. And they, they call them assorted bait. Let's see what the card says. Crankbaits are excellent search baits that can quickly find and catch bass. I love using... Okay, this has nothing to do with what's in here. So they didn't know what they were putting in. It said $4.99, but I'm, I'm sure this was cheaper than $4.99. So they didn't know what they were putting in here, and this is what we got. So so uh, I'm happy with this. I'd rather, I think I'd rather have this than a crankbait because uh, I got lots of crankbaits, and I rarely use them. So... I will definitely try this in uh, Edenton at Foreman Lake. <laughs> uh, next item, this could become another one of my favorite bait companies too, uh, B and M if they're not already. And once again, it says Wild from the Wild Fang series, which is what those worms from the uh, MTB from last month were from. I only got to try them briefly because of the weather, but um, these are a green pumpkin and they're called Flat B and M Flat Wild. Uh, I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. Uh, they are four inch five count. The shape of this bait makes it the perfect flipping and punching bait. Its compact arrow design allows it to get into thick cover without hanging up. I tie these on with a minimum 50 pound braid on a stout seven foot eight inch flipping stick. Then I flip it into the nastiest cover I can find and hold. Well, I won't be doing that because I probably won't be doing a uh, 50 pound braid. In any of the lakes I fish in, at least not for you know, not till I'm been fishing a few years and know what I'm doing. Well, let's take a look at one of these. Yeah, it looks like a kind of like a beaver, but the uh, it's it's got like the pointy uh, the, the pointy appendages, like a cross between a beaver and a craw. 
Uh, this could be good too. I, I'm going to bring this with me. I'm not going to be using 50 pound braid, but and I think I've kind of scrapped the braid. I was you trying braid for a little while. Nothing against braid. It could be. It's probably just me. But uh, I was more comfortable using fluorocarbon, so I've gone back to the fluorocarbon. I mean, I'm, I haven't really fished anywhere where I'm going to need braid. Uh, I like that the fluorocarbon sinks a little bit and that it's virtually invisible, So, and, and it stretches. I, I like all that. I can feel the fluorocarbon better than I can braid. You know, once I've gained more experience, maybe I'll go back to the braid. I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty sure Jake and Daniel use it. But they, they've been fishing a lot longer than me. So I'm just not comfortable using braids. So I went back to the fluorocarbon. And that's probably what I'm going to fish until I've learned enough where I can go back to the braid without wasting my money. So, yeah, there you have it. The V&M Wild Thing series. Uh, the Flat Wild Green Pumpkin. And this retails for 49 Next item is some hooks from uh, Daichi. I guess that's how you say it. D-A-I-I-C-H-I. Daichi, Daichi. It says a uh, fat gap worm hook and they're a tub hook and they're three up. They're little hooks, which are good because I like little hooks because I'm a small fish guy, <laughs> as I always say. It says this is a great hook to use on a variety of soft plastic baits. When Carolina rigging, it is important to use a stronger wire hook that won't bend when setting the hook. When using a light wire hook, there is a greater probability that the hook will bend, allowing the fish to get away. That makes sense. So, um, that's the, uh, and it says, my hook is extremely sharp. These are uh, users' comments. And this is from the Blakemore Fishing Group, which is um, the same people that made uh, one of the baits I got in the MTB box the other day, so... Um, made in USA. So, can all, like I always say, I can always use more hooks. And we got the two best XL uh, only um, items. First is from Lunker Hunt. And this is another item when I went to, when Laura and I went to Dick's the other day, this is another item I saw on their shelf. And this is a new bait, it says on the card. This is another item I saw on the shelf there that um, I almost bought. It retails for $13.99. I think Dix might have had it for more than that. So I'm like, it might have been $18 there. I, I don't know. Um, it's called, It says Topwater Walking Bait, and it's called the Lunker Hunt Link. And let's see if this gives a specific uh, color. It's a 6 and 3 quarter inch, 5 8 ounce uh, topwater. And it's basically two fish swimming. And the... Uh, the front fish has a, a, a treble hook on it, and the back fish has two treble hooks on it. So it's kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like a, uh, I guess some sort of a topwater bait with a, uh, with, a with a trailer. It does not say. Yes, it does. Water snake. <laughs> it's called the Lunker Hut Link Six foot Three Quarter Inch Water Snake. So that's that's what they call it. I'll take it out. This is probably going to be painful, but we'll do. I'll take one for the team and do this for you. It's not too bad. What a nice bait! Once again, I'm glad I didn't uh, <laughs> spend the money. And that's why they call it water snake. If you look at it from the top, it kind of looks like a rattlesnake. It's got snake colors. It's got like a copper color, and the top is black with little diamonds. But the bottom is all fish. It's got a, like a yellow belly with a little bit of green, kind of like a perch. And it's got the three treble hooks. Let's see if you can see it in front of my hat. Um, you, run, you run your line. There's no, there's no crank on it. But uh, let me see if it, if, it, if it tells you how to fish it. This is a cool bait. You can say that again. It mimics a terrestrial creature swimming across the surface with an enticing action. A simple cast and retrieve method can work exceptionally well, but change it up with a pause or a twitch every now and then to trigger violent strikes. So it's top water. And uh, that makes sense. This could be good. I might even try this in North Carolina. I don't know. I'm willing to try anything that's going to get me one of those 10-pound bass that Troy's been talking about. So uh, we got one item left. And 
It's from my new uh, favorite bait company, Z-Man. This is the Chatter Frog. I already think I already have a couple of these Chatter Frogs. I have not used one, but they're all the ones I have are all different colors. This one's called White Green Camo. It's uh, three eighths of an ounce, and two fro it has two frog leg trailers on it. So I'm gonna, eventually, I'm going to try this. I'm trying to get good at easy baits first before I can get good at uh, baits like this. I don't know, but uh, the science and art of fishing. I like that. It has the this has the Elaz Elaztec um, technology in it, like the uh, net the Ned rigs when, when the fish. When the fish pulls on it, it's going to stretch a lot without breaking off. So it makes the bait last longer. So uh, see if there's anything else unique. Hex-shaped chatter blade can be fine-tuned for desired depth control and acts as a weed guard for snag resistance. And what does the card say? Uh, combining the fish attracting vibrations of the chatter bait with the action of a plastic frog, the chatter frog can be deadly on early season bass cruising flats looking for a meal. Throw it close to cover and try retrieving at different speeds to determine how the bass want it that day. So, definitely going to try that. I know I got a lot to try. Like I said, I, I, I've got to try a lot of baits this year. That's one of my goals. So, um, I will be. Okay, that's it for the baits. Uh, next, we have a uh, Lunker, Hunt the Lunker Hunt sticker, which <laughs> got a little destroyed, but whatever. Um, it's a good bait company, so I'm always glad to have their stickers. Uh, my next camera box, I'll put this one, so I like it up. I'll put a, I'll put it up so you can see it. Uh, next is the Fish Hound, Fish Hound magazine. And it has, I don't know who this is. Uh, they have Strike King Lure Company on their shirt, but I don't, I don't know who this is. Uh, it's not, <laughs> Team Lucky Profile, Laura Ann Fashi. It's definitely not her, so I don't know who this is on the, oh, Steve Parks. Rage Against the Best, Steve Parks. So that's who's on the cover. And... Let's see what we got in here. Make LTB your personal fishing guide. Uh, let's see what the articles are. Fish Hound Breakdown, Lunker Hunt Link. b &M's brand new flat wild creature bait. Like I said, the Team Lucky profile, Laura and Fashi. And Rage Against the Bass, Steve Parks. And they call it the biggest little book on fishing. Fish Hound Magazine. Let me see if there's anything else really uh, noteworthy. Here's the Lunker Hunt Link. That one looks like a couple of baby bass. Here's uh, different colors. This bait really intrigues me. So I, if, if, if this sucker works, and here's the flat wild creature bait. So one thing I like about this is they tell you how to fish these baits. Uh, there's Laura Ann Foshi. She's from Alabama. And they got the, um, the Better Fishing Times chart in there with uh, lunar periods. Uh, and some uh, advertisements, taco warehouse, etc., etc. So there you go, Fish Out Magazine. And last but not least is your golden ticket for the live drawing, which they have on LTB Live. And the prizes are fishing rods, fishing reels, one-year LTB subscription, and the grand prize is all-expense-paid trip to fish with Travis Morin. I'm not sure how you say his name, the guy that dives for lures. Uh, Dalmid, Team Lucky, and Lunkers TV. I don't know about Lunkers TV because he's an MTV guy now, but you never know. <laughs> I don't mean to get him in trouble. His name is still on the card, but whatever. So um, that's it. Uh, once again, wish me luck. Uh, it's sun, late Sunday afternoon. I'm going to catch a couple hours sleep. Um, try and get this video up tonight for you before I go to work. Uh, I'm working three nights, and then I'm off to uh, to Edenton, uh, North Carolina, uh, to Dad and Ann's house, and uh, Foreman Lake. So I uh, wish me some luck bringing the kayak down. Once again, I want to thank my subscribers, those of you obviously that are watching this video, uh, and if you'll give me a comment and a like, or if there's something you don't like about it, uh, just I ask the one thing: if you give me a dislike, just give me a comment.
tell me why you dislike it, and uh, that'll help me out uh, to make this channel better. Uh, and like I've said before, this is your channel. Without without you, I have no channel. So, um, oh, almost forgot the weather. <laughs> uh, I already did the screenshot of the weather, and if you notice, I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Uh, it's about 32 degrees right now and getting colder, and the weather's calling for snow the next couple of days, uh, starting uh, tomorrow night, which is Monday night, until uh, Tuesday night. So it's it's they're, they're talking six to twelve inches or five to eight, depending on who you listen to. South Jersey supposed to southeast Jersey supposed to get hit pretty hard. So there you have it, New Jersey in March. So uh, thanks again. Uh, take care and God bless.